folks, you might want to hide your kids, hide your wives, because apparently Activision has revealed the devil itself, the Jal. The Jal is here, and we have the homie, Lil A Party, also known as Captain Canada. He is going to tell us the truth. Guys, like this video, share this video, and if we get to 500 likes, I'm going to drop the next video. But apparently, I want to share this video with you, and I want to play this clip in just a little bit, because not many people know about this. Not many people are talking about it, and this is a bombshell report, but we're going to listen Listen to what Activision says. Get your cap meters at hand, get your goggles on, and let's dive right into it. And call me surprised, Activision has broken the silence on Call of Duty matchmaking, skill based matchmaking, hit registration matchmaking, oh, damage based matchmaking, aim assist matchmaking, and purchasing store bundles matchmaking. And all the conspiracy theories have been laid out. They have broken the silence and they are telling everything that has to do with skill based matchmaking. They're saying, they're telling us everything, but without telling us everything if that makes sense. Making. So let's get into all the stuff they said, all the stuff they broke down, and everything yeah, that has to do with yeah. skill-based matchmaking according to Activision, which, I mean, they say this is the yeah. truth. Do we believe them? Is it actually? According to Activision, point to be noted, point to be noted, suspect is leading the victim. Is that how you say that? Bruh. Factual, or is this just like another big corporation like Pfizer telling us one thing, but the facts are another? I'll let you be the judge of that. I'm going to present okay. the facts here first of all, and I'm going to give you my yeah, take. Yeah, remember to not tick, 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 guys. Uh, tick, 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 not good, okay? Connor, which is remember probably the most call of duty game is dumb up and taking this whole community since i'm probably the oldest dude who still plays call of duty has been making call of duty videos for over 20 years if you wanted to know all right so the first thing let's get into it here Match Dog, 20 years ago we didn't even had youtube bro like just stop the cab bro caught you right there caught you right there little a toddy in 4k i caught you right there bro because 20 years ago it was 2004 and youtube i believe it came out in like 2005 so come on man like stop the cab bro simple bruh Matchmaking includes, of course, it's all from Activision themselves. Everything I'm reading is uh, quote unquote from Activision. Okay. Matchmaking includes several key factors with connection being priority. Oh, sure. Okay, listen, I'm already not believing them, but okay, I'm just going to tell you what they say. It also does factor in skill, which considers kills, deaths, wins, losses, and more, including mode selection and recent matches. All the factor. Okay, let's look at the graph here. Here's the lobby. So we got connection. Okay, time to match, skill performance, Damn. platform, voice chat, voice chat. Okay. Bro, like, tell me oh, this is not an aliens technology. Bro, even the aliens saw that they know that this is their technology and this is something that they give, gave us to uh, uh, us the humans, right? They give their alien technology and the humans they have reverse engineered this crap to the point where that these suckers and when I said these suckers, I mean like Activision, okay? Activision, they if you play five matches, they know the size of your dong, bro. They know the size of your dong, bro. They know if your girl is pregnant or not before she even find out. This is crazy, and they know that Lil Ed Party. It's not a thoughts. It's Lily Toddy, first of all. Bruh. They know that. They know that. They know that. And they also know that he has a like a LBC or little LWC, my bad. LWC. Bruh. He doesn't have a BBC or BWC. He has a LWC, man. They know this yeah, algorithm I have voice is crazy. On, and I've been getting some easier lobbies. I didn't know if that was actually just the anecdotal, but I have voice chat on. I'm always talking, and I seem to get oh, much easier it. lobbies. That's a true, uh, true fact. Input device. I went from keyboard to mouse to uh, controller, and I seem to be getting easier lobbies when I use controller. I guess this is all anecdotal. I don't know. There seems to be a lot of freaking things and taking into consideration recent yeah. maps and modes playlist diversity all right i've also talked about playlist diversity i only select one or two playlists and that seems to give me a better matchmaking experience mm. when it comes to multiplayer. And, and real quick right we're obviously gonna dive into this video when you're you're about to see a massive plot twist but guys this is where i want all of you immediately okay emergency meeting real quick stop scratching your balls like guys it, it you, you can do that later on but now it's not the time but check this today Activision confirmed that skill-based matchmaking has been in Call of Duty since COD 4 Modern Warfare 2005. I call bull squash on this one. Stop the cap. Th that's massive caps. Ca cap. Call of Duty has historically considered player performance among other factors as part of our matchmaking process of our work in this area. Dates back as early as Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare 2007. Now, here's the thing, right? For a second, I'm willing to believe this, okay? Like, I, I, I'm a win for it. I know, I know it sounds crazy. If I want to believe this story, right? Here's the thing. All the way back in 2007, if it had skill based matchmaking, the thing is that we did not notice. I did not notice. Meaning, if you for real had skill based matchmaking in, in all the way back in 2007, Activision, that was a good skill based matchmaking. That's the system we want because we didn't notice you manipulating the lobbies. Okay? That's how it felt like, bruh. We felt like that you were not manipulating the lobbies. 
But fast forward to now, you have skill-based matchmaking to the point where we notice it, bro. We actually notice it. We don't even know the size of our own dong, but you know it. You know the size of our own dong. Come on, man. That's information that you don't need to know, bro. Who you're gonna sell this data to? China? Bruh, like they got TikTok for that, bro. Like TikTok be spying on the, the Western kids all day 24-7, bruh. Like you don't need that, bro. Let China do it with TikTok, bruh. Come on, man. Come on, man. Player skill based matchmaking. Okay, here we go. Breaking Activision has officially on record oh, confirmed that there is no hit registration, damage based, or aim assist based factors that affect matchmaking in any way. Purchasing store bundles does not, in capital letters, I want to emphasize that, not affect matchmaking in any way. There is no. Okay, I don't believe this shit at all now. Okay, there is, in capital letters, <laughs> no AI in Call of Duty multiplayer. So let me repeat that again. Damn. There's no hit reg, damage based, aim assist based factors in matchmaking in any way. They save you buy store bundles. It does not affect matchmaking in any way. And there is no artificial intelligence in Call of Duty multiplayer. Man, okay, I'm not really, uh, this, this is what they say. I mean, I'm not sure if I really believe them, guys. Make sure you go get your booster. It's safe and effective. If you know what I'm saying, picking up what I'm throwing down. Activision has also... Yeah, make sure you guys are washing your hands before smashing the like button. I definitely do not want other people to catch the Ronios. Firm, okay? here we go. What's the future? Here's what's the future of skill-based matchmaking. Let's get into that now. What is the future of skill-based oh, matchmaking? Activision oh, has confirmed they've run multiple tests in Call of Duty multiplayer where skill factor and matchmaking was turned off. Player retention dropped significantly during these tests, and this is why they will not turn off skill-based matchmaking. Here's the questions that have been asked to them. Have you ever tested removing skill as a consideration from matchmaking? Here is their answer. We have run tests over the years to determine if removing skill as a consideration from matchmaking makes sense. We will continue to launch these tests periodically. To date, the data remains consistent with what we've detailed above. Players tend to quit matches or stop playing if they're getting blown out, resulting in a negative overall experience for all players in the lobby and the general popula uh, player population. Rather, We purposely do not disclose when these tests occur because it may impact feedback or the data we see during these tests. So they're doing actual double-blind placebo test which is what you're supposed to do if you tell people you're doing a test ahead of time which a lot of corporations pharmaceutical companies and other kind of places that have less than reputable uh, you know reputations yeah. will just do that and try to pass it off yeah. like it's legit this is actually a good test yeah okay well okay not telling people that they're about to do a test where they're gonna remove skill based match i mean that's a good thing right because everybody will be like it's time to play now it's time to play now you know uh, you know everybody would be so high and everybody would be like in the la la land so i get that i get that but here's the thing though for the longest amount of time right people have been saying that bro i feel skill based match begin so tight but yesterday i didn't feel that much though you know i feel like that's they removed it and i'm not sure about what's happening like in urdu i would like to say yeah you phil spencer and the company chacha phil kya kar ya pencho ya phil spencer nikal dena isne devs ko fire kar diya ye kutte ne skill based match mein nikal ne usko fire karna jinhone skill based match mein banaya usko fire kar ladies and gentlemen what i'm trying to say here is Bruh. this that they phil spencer instead of firing the devs that worked on the good stuff fire the devs that made skill based magic bro fire the devs that made skill based magic but you be firing everybody else man that is absolutely wild and point to be noted that they app they apparently say that if you buy skins that it does not affect your um, it does not give you advantage right we got duck sensor out here we got daniel on pc out here we, we got skizzle out here dropping accusations we also had a homie that i saw a yeah we have a homie that's dropping like a bull squash out here but i did see one guy he said that he dropped three it probably was joking around but i remember seeing a comment let me see if i can find that one real quick for you but there was a guy that did say that he spent three thousand dollars yeah there we go so i spent over three thousand dollars on skins for nothing there yeah man and that is bull squash. That is bull squash. But the guy is also bull squashing. They're being honest. Have you considered removing skill base from matchmaking specific general multiplayer game modes? We have considered this in the past and we will continue to examine if this idea makes sense as part of an experimental place or in specific modes. We have nothing to announce on that front today. Well, listen, man, so far they're saying everything you want to hear, but let me know, dudes. Let me know. Let me know in the comments uh, down below. Make sure we, uh, let's have some communication here on this video. Yeah, I, I also do want to show you guys this video. Wait for it. It's going to knock your socks off. It's going to raise the hair on the back of your neck and also on your ball sack, too. Uh, stop scratching your ball sack, guys. This is an important and delicate topic uh, that actually dictates our future as a, as a human species. Bruh. You feel I'm shing? You guys picking up what they're throwing down? Are you buying this? Activision nah, has cap, also bro, officially that confirmed that content creators and streamers do not get any special treatment. Oh, cap, yeah, in matchmaking cap. in Call of Duty. 
So they are telling you everything that I have been saying, but the opposite, what Blame Truth has been saying, but the yeah. opposite, what anyone who has been negative or critical or anybody's conspiracy about matchmaking or streamers or whatnot, they are denying everything. Here's the official statement, uh, statement rather. Do partners or content creators get special consideration? Listen, man, guys, uh, hey, 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 that is the homie emo blame truth, okay? That's the homie emo blame truth. And whatever the homie blame truth said, Activision just picked picked apart everything and literally did the opposite. And they said that everything you heard from the homie blame truth lies. That's what Activision is saying. Now I want to pass this torch. I want to pass this question to you. Yes, you're watching. Do not look behind you. I'm talking to you right now, okay? Yeah, you, man. Yeah, you. So do you think, who do you think is lying? Emo blame truth? Activision, I mean, let's be real. If you if you say uh, Activision is lying, that's the right answer. That's the right answer. Stop making poor decisions and hit that like button, smash the like button, subscribe right now if you're brand new, but roll it. Duration and general matchmaking. No, of course. Like, as if they're gonna admit that though. Like, hey, are you guys, uh, you know, using streamers to fake advertise and make the game look more fun than it is by giving, giving them bot lobby so they can destroy yeah. the competition and make it look like they're having such a great time. And then when you buy the game, you get destroyed by dudes slide canceling using TTV in their name with using MLG skins and scuff gaming controllers and VPNs. And, uh, you know, that's what they're doing. Let me just put it right there right now. Streamers do not get special consideration of matchmaking, but they reverse Damn. boost. And they also use uh, VPNs and other ways to uh, reverse. Okay, reverse boosting and uh, what he said, VPN, right? Do you guys think that's cheating? Uh, do you think that's cheating? VPN, okay, m maybe, right? But the way I see it as a reverse boosting is not cheating. That's my opinion. I don't do it. I believe I did it like once or twice just to test it out. I, I believe during Black Ops Cold War, and that was like four years ago. Just wanted to test it out uh, because I, I remember seeing exclusive ace video exclusive ace also did a test video and that went viral right and i was like i was curious i wanted to see like if that's really real or not and this was one way to find out whether skill based matching was real nor or not basically the way it works and there are multiple different ways but the, the way i did it was you die a bunch of times so you play normally right the way you would play the game but instead of killing people you just run around and get shot and then you just delete yourself essentially in the game you do that over and over to the point where then you're gonna get the retweets lobby a aka the easier no friendly lobbies Bruh. and that would confirm that it basically was doing that to see whether skill based match is real or not and yep it has skill based match and i know a lot of people still do it and i don't blame anybody that does it personally i would be doing it too if i was like a teen uh, adolescent teen uh, te uh, if i was a child i would be doing it too or if i had a lot of free time i would do it too now right now i'm like 27 i ain't got no free time so that's probably one of the biggest reasons why i don't do it if i want to play the the game i just want to i want to play the game i barely get time right so if i want to hop on call of duty black ops cold ride nuketown 24 7 that's what that's the only call of duty thing i play nowadays right so if i'm hopping over i don't want to do that man i i want to play like for 30 minutes i want to just get into the game <laughs> just play like a quick two three matches and that's it call it a night but if i had a lot of free time i would do it all day every day so a lot of people still do it i don't blame them do you blame them the way i see it is that if activision did not had skill based matchmaking this wouldn't even be a problem so sigas are creating uh thick things out here but then there are variations you feel what i'm oh, saying shit. Oh, yeah shit. there are different variations there are different strains going around in, in forms of vpns uh, vpning uh <laughs> doing the thick thick things and also this reverse boosting crap though circumvent skill-based matchmaking so maybe activision is not doing anything but for sure these streamers and gameplay youtubers and whatnot are doing do it, certain things to circumvent skill-based matchmaking that maybe uh activision is not privy to and just doesn't care but for sure streamers are not playing the same lobby as that most of you are they're playing against a bunch of retards let's just keep it real okay keeping going there's a lot of stuff here oh, guys man. this is pretty freaking oh, awesome man. activision has Bumblecock. also confirmed that players in multiplayer who keep packing out of the lobbies because they do not like the map selection just Wait ends up it? hurting matchmaking leaving less games available to play while the empty lobbies are trying to fill Okay, that's great. We don't give a shit, buddy. We're not going to be playing these bullcrap lobbies. If the lobby game sucks, I'm backing out. I don't care. Uh, figure it out. You're supposed to have 18 zillion million. The most play call. Yeah, in Urdu, I would like to say, Yeah, this Gandu Bobby Kartik has made a big deal here. And Chacha Phil has not done anything. He hasn't done anything. Chacha Phil has done everything. He has done everything. He has done everything. 1900, he... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> man, that is crazy. What is happening with Call of Duty right now? What is happening with Call of Duty right now, bro? 
Call of Duty ever. There's a ton of people. I shouldn't have a problem populating lobbies. I'm not going to bother reading their official press release on that because I've just crumpled up into a ball and wiped my ass with it. Activision has acknowledged the feedback that higher skill players are in quote unquote sweaty. Ooh yeah. Lobbies a lot and are working to address those concerns with new matchmaking changes tests. Skill won't be moved, removed 100% ever though as player retention is significantly impacted. So let me get this straight. What they're trying to say is that really bad players, if they get, they're just, you know, shit packed in, they uh -huh. get upset and leave and don't come back. And mm. if they make it closer and try to get those lobbies a little less skill based, they stay longer. But they are sort of uh, in a round. Uh, guys, emergency meeting, real quick. And right after this one, we're going to dive into it and I want to show you this. But emergency meeting, real quick, right? Uh, and be honest, uh, be honest. I, I'm really, really curious to see like how many of you guys, uh, let's just say you play Call of Duty, or I know some, most of you, really, I don't, I don't play Call of Duty because I'm offended by the fact that you are even going to ask me this question now, okay? The last time you played Call of Duty, Bruh. let's make it simple, right? If you currently play Call of Duty or the last time you played Call of Duty, if you had like terrible KD ratio, right? Like if you died over and over again, over and over again, because of the sweaty lords, the toxic gamers, did you actually quit your game? Did you like turn off your PlayStation or Xbox or your PC or close application? Did you do that? Did you just quit the game? I'm not even talking about rage quitting. I'm just talking like you got tired. You were like, ah, oh, whatever, bro. Like I, I feel bored. I'm just gonna peace out. I'm just gonna leave it, do something else or play another game. Did you do that? One, if yes, two, if not, even if you have ter two means if you had terrible games, but you still kept playing. You were like, okay, bro, I'm gonna try again, try again, try again. I'm gonna, I, I know I'm like halfway in right now. Next time I try, who knows, man, I might be fully in. Bruh. So one or two, one if you quit, two if you keep playing. I, w I wanna know, like, let's actually do this uh, quick little about test. way um, contradict themselves because they're saying the really sweaty lobbies are not fun for people. So there seems to be like a two class tier system of people playing Call of Duty, people that know how to play and people that subscribe to Nick Merckx and think that he's an alpha male, i.e. mentally challenged beta males. Okay, here's the official statement. We use player performance to ensure that the disparity between the most skilled player in the lobby and the least skilled player in the lobby isn't so vast that players feel their match is a waste of time. Our yeah. data on player outcomes clearly indicates that the inclusion of skill in clearly. Call of Duty multiplayer matchmaking process, as it currently stands, increases the variety of outcomes experienced by players of all skill levels. Bullshit. Every single lobby is sweaty. <laughs> the games are like the closest I've ever seen. There is not a variance. It's basically the same every single time. This is damage control nonsense. Nothing's going to change yep. in our words. Let's yep. just keep it real here. Eight minutes of this video. Yeah, the, the, the fact that they just came out and they are literally saying nah bro like it doesn't work like that man partners content creators do not get special treatment bots are not used in multiplayer spending money on call of duty does not change how matchmaking works the, they're literally denying everything they're literally meanwhile it has been leaked uh, and this is not even guys this is not even rumors or speculation but i'll say this uh, and this is a fact not everything that we see in the pattern it does not mean that it's actually dead ass in the game but most of it is and they're actually considering it maybe not for now but later on in the future but when you when you have all of this crap in the on the pattern and and it's not one guy that is like yo the, the martians are here lock yourselves in the basement meaning that it's not one guy trying to assume that it's happening when i say assume it's happening i mean like uh, you know you buy the skins and you all of a sudden you feel like that you have easier lobbies there have been so many different people saying the same crap and so many pe different people experiencing the fact that hey if i you know if i pick up like a weapon on the ground that was a dlc weapon all of a sudden i feel like that my problems are solved all of a sudden i feel kind of like like i I play better and whenever I buy a microtransaction like my lobbies for the time being are getting better a lot of people also feel like that their stats are being nerfed in the game in live in the game where they're they would they would get shot within like uh, two two bullets and they have put in like five bullets on the other guy but the other guy wouldn't die, die but he would uh, if you're shooting the guy you would die within like two bullets so a lot of people do feel that way it's not just one guy so it cannot be just placebo right a lot of people feel that but activision eh, they're denying everything meanwhile it's on the pattern itself and this is a new discovery that was made by trade tv uh check this out roll it right now roll it so to summarize, here's what's wrong with modern gaming. Matchmaking application 120 that has coin engine 122, which is basically skill-based matchmaking that is so strong. And they have the microtransaction engine, but Activision said that, nah, bro, it's not like that, bro. 
that it may even ignore the latency variable when looking for a match. Analytics and Feedback Engine 124, they use biometric factors like facial expressions, pulse, body language, and sweat to determine player satisfaction. Pipeline Engine 126, which creates soft reservations, which are essentially protected brackets for a specific parameter of players exceeding a certain threshold. Microtransaction Engine 128, that tries to pair lower skilled players who don't have the bundles with higher skilled players that do have the bundles, at the same time just rewarding players who buy bundles in general by giving them easier lobbies. On top of all go. that nonsense, there, there, there we go, boys. Now, again, though, like, Again, I will still say not everything that's mentioned on the pattern, it does not mean that it's in the game. But when a lot of your players are feeling this, I would like to believe that it's actually dead ass in the game. But guys, recently a massive streamer was caught cheating live in the game. Oh, shit. Click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there. Check this out, man. This video is entertaining, but also quite like, I mean, come on, man. Like, stop cheating, guys. Stop cheating, man. Check this out and I'll see you right there.